Hey everyone, this is Glory Marie coming to you. Um, I'm at work, I'm not at home right now, but I just wanted to release this word over everyone's life and say a quick prayer. Um, I know what the holidays coming, Thanksgiving already passed, Christmas is coming. Um, when you're standing and your spouse is not home, it's a very difficult time. Um, of course, we miss all the you know times that we used to take family pictures together and do traditions and when you don't have your spouse there with you it's very hurtful very painful and um i just want to give some encouragement because you know in the book of joel it says that god will restore the years that the locusts have eaten so he will restore this time that has been lost he will and we have to stand on that you know we have to proclaim it we have to decree it we have to really believe with all of our hearts that this time that we're waiting is not in vain you know god is going to use it for our good and what has helped me a lot and i just wanted to share this as encouragement what has helped me through you know almost three years of thanksgivings and christmases and everything is um i just really try to focus on the good i focus on my blessings not what i don't have and i don't look at it the same as i used to the holidays i look at it as thanksgiving being a day to be grateful and thankful for every single thing i have even the air i breathe and christmas just being a time to celebrate the lord you know to celebrate it's not necessarily it doesn't look um you know in the spirit like it's supposed to be in the physical um these holidays you know they're supposed to be celebrated but we also can't make ho holidays our idols we can't make our spouses our idols we can't make restoration our idols so um i know it, it hurts i know it's very painful to be you know standing or not reconciled not restored and you know having all these memories and everything but just keep declaring keep decreeing keep proclaiming keep standing if you need a fresh dose of peace and wisdom and understanding just ask god for it because he's faithful and he will give it to you he will help you to get through this time i mean he's supposed to be the lover of our soul he's supposed to be our heavenly husband he's supposed to be our number one love so we basically have to give our number two love which is our spouses to our number one love which is god so i just want to just encourage everybody here that's stumbled across this that yes the holidays are hard i'm working christmas i mean i'm a nurse so i'm working all christmas weekend and i'm okay with that you know because i'm just gonna spend time with my daughter and do events with her in december um to kind of just you know bake cookies with her take her to a play take her you know to roast you know s'mores or make s'mores and take her to different things because that is what i'm able to do and we can only focus on the things that we can control what we can't control is you know what our spouses are thinking and i guarantee you they're not necessarily in you know bliss land wherever they are during the holidays either even in even if it seems like they are, chances are they're not. Because, I mean, deep down inside, you two are one. So they have to miss you. They have to miss, you know, what their covenant spouse's love gave to them. You know, because that's real and that's from God. And when God gives something, he brings no sorrow to it when it's from him. So that is why we know that when he restores our marriage there's not going to be any sorrow it's going to be hard but there's not going to be any sorrow because it's truly going to be blessed by him and given to us by him so i just want to say a, a quick prayer for everybody and i just came on real quick to do this so heavenly father we just praise you and worship you lord we thank you father for the blood that you shed father for us so that we can have redemption lord and we can have a personal relationship with you lord we need you lord during this time like we've never needed you before we need you lord god to 
to come into the broken places in our hearts, Lord, to come into the places of desperation and depression and sadness and despair, Lord, and to just bring light into the darkness of those areas, Lord God. I ask you to bring a fresh anointing. Let your Holy Spirit, Lord, fall upon the listeners here today, Father, to give them, Lord, vision, to give them dreams, to give them prophecy, Lord God, into what their season is, into what December and 2022 means for them in their stand and in their personal lives, Lord God. I ask you to touch their spouse's heart right now during these times and these holidays, Lord, to convict them, Lord, convict them that they are to return, Lord God, to their covenant spouses. And may you turn their hearts and soften their hearts, Lord God. May you speak to them specifically, Father. May the scales fall off their eyes and off their ears, Lord God, so they can hear and see what you have to tell them, Lord God. I pray that the conviction is deep and sharp, Lord. And I pray, Father God, for a rhema word for each and every one of the listeners here, Lord God, that they're able to hear from you and feel your love and feel your presence in a tangible way that they've never been able to feel before, Lord. And just remind them, Lord, that the holidays are just a time, Lord God. Remind them, Lord God, that they have so much love to give and allow them, Lord God, to pour their love into other areas, Lord God, and to take their eyes off of their spouses in this season, Lord God, and in the holidays and to turn their eyes towards you, Lord God, because you will fill them with the peace that surpasses all understanding. You will fill them, Lord God, with strength to soar on wings like eagles. And I declare and decree that each person watching this will have supernatural strength and healing come upon them right now, right now, Lord God because we have the authority to do so, Lord God. As children of the Most High God, we have the authority. So I have the authority to say, Lord God, that this Christmas, that this New Year's is going to be new, is going to be great, is going to be filled, Lord God, with miracles. And we are grateful, Lord. We praise you and we worship you. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. So remember, remember, you are beautiful. You are loved. You are wanted. You are a child of the Most High God. You are not a mistake. Nothing you do can separate you from God. It is not about performance. It is not about rituals. It is not about, you know, it's about the posture of your heart. So keep your heart soft in, you know, in this season and through the holidays so that God can really bless you, you know, and return to you a hundredfold what the enemy tried to take because we're going to claim our land and we're claiming our land and we're claiming our spouses. We're not standers. That is not our identity, but we are standing and we are not giving up. We are fighting. And believe me, when God is your advocate and your vindicator, the battle will be won. So bless you all. Have a wonderful Christmas and I hope to see you before then. Bye.